Um, okay, so let, well, let me give an introduction to ID Now um, for those uh, of you who don't know us. So we're actually very much in a sort of um, in a stage now where we we've actually done our own launch. Uh, and sorry, I, I missed out. Your, what's your name? You're you you you're there together. Um, we um, we've actually we're actually in the process of launching our own platform. Uh, we we launched that a couple of weeks ago. Um, where those of you who know ID now in the market um, is is as a video identification provider whose primary use cases are um, for sort of on the opening online bank accounts and so on, doing it through a sort of video chat session. Um, and we also have an e-sign product where once you've been identified, we can then issue you with a qualified electronic signature, which is something which in Europe is needed to sign certain contracts, such as insurance contracts, recruitment contracts, and so on. Um, we are just launching our latest, newest product, which is called AutoIdent, which is the ability to go through the entire identification process uh, without the need for a, a video chat or, uh, uh, well, without the need for a video chat. So, which does two things. First of all, from our point of view, is helps us to expand into many more verticals and use cases. So, historically, we've been very much focused on financial services uh, and uh, telcos as use cases. So. Uh, registering prepaid mobile phones, uh, opening bank accounts, issuing loans online, and so on. Uh, but now, we, with the AutoIdent, it opens up a whole new world in terms of uh, a lot more sectors, such as gaming, uh, mobility, um, recruitment, real estate, and so on. And we are, we are building this, we're, we're producing all this on a single platform, taking the benefit of our four years of heritage of um, collecting, uh, using, collecting millions of um, data, uh, IDs in our database. So we are, re we are repositioning ourselves as the identity verification platform for the now economy, where the now economy is uh, the new concept of doing everything um, immediately. Um, so about ID now, very quickly, for those of you who don't know us, we're about four years old. We've raised about 10 million euros. Um, we're about 100 people in Munich, and then we have another, uh, another group of people who are in our call centers doing uh, the video identification. We have about 250 clients around Europe, um, and we are pretty much the market leader in the German, Austrian, and Swiss regions, and have all the sort of big name banks that you can think of, like UBS and Comets Bank, and also um, a lot of fintech. So one of our one of our most successful clients is uh, N26, which uh, is a company that I'm sure most of the Germans here uh, will be very familiar with. Um, but we also work with um, car companies like Volkswagen and Sixt and so on. And then we're very proud of um, uh, our, our, some of our key channel partners, which one is DocuSign, um, where we are the uh, exclusive partner for, the, for them for the qualified electronic signature in Europe. Uh, and also Gieske and Devriant, which I think have got a stand over the other side, which are a well-known security company. Um, yes, that's just more, lots of wonderful clients. Um, so I, the ID Now platform, in terms of um, what it's providing um, our clients, is, is effectively the ability now to have, from a single platform, the most secure, the most compliant, and a set of solutions that enhances conversion more than any other platform, and I'll explain why. Um, what we have is our, is our technology at the bottom, which is our, our, our millions, of, millions of data points of training data, our ID documents, which cover um, every single country in the world. It's 193, and I think there are 195 countries, so maybe we've missed out Vatican City or somewhere like that, um, as well as all relevant ID, um, ID documents and um, drivers, well, driver's licenses are coming in Q4, um, but we've, we're launching next week with all IDs and, and passports and then driver's license we're bringing on um, in Q4. And then that all sits in our magic box and we train our, our algorithms over those and so we can then produce that from the product side to our clients in one of four ways. One is auto-ident, one is video-ident, e-sign, and uh, wallet. And wallet is effectively quite a sort of, a sort of basic um, uh, storage for identities for a very particular use case for 
um, e-signatures for DocuSign. Um, so, but our core products are auto-ident, video-ident, and e-sign. And why, why is that so exciting for our customer base is because now we can offer a lot of our customers, in fact, almost all of them are big multinationals with, big, um, with many use cases within their portfolio. And they have two requirements. One is if you've got a multinational business that needs to comply with regulatory jurisdictions across multiple regions, so in Germany, you need video ident. In the UK, you can get away with auto ident. In France, you, uh, sorry, in Spain, you have a mixture of auto ident and video ident. In Portugal, you need video ident, and so on. Is that if you, if we are the only platform now um, who can offer both the auto and the video and the e sign all on a single platform. So I use um, Volkswagen as a really good example, whereby they have obviously they're a big international company but they have, they're a big business with multiple use cases. So um, currently, we've just, um, started use, uh, they've just started using our service for their connected car app. So you can now, um, ha you can connect an app to your car, so you can open your car with an app and then also um, connect a lot of other services like checking your fuel and mileage and, and other data uh, elements with your car. And so they now use, um, so they can now use AutoIdent for the connected car to make sure that they are verifying the identities of those um, consumers. But obviously, they have lots of other business, so they get into leasing. Now, for leasing, you need to have um, uh, a signature process so they can use our e-sign product. For, they have a bank, Volkswagen has its own bank. So um, for, for the banking, they can use, in particular in Germany, they can use uh, the video ident uh, use case. And they also have a small but growing car sharing business, and again, there they can use auto ident. So the, 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 the pitch to, to Volkswagen is basically, you know, we have a solution for every single type of use case and that we can produce, and then we can, we can give you those solutions uh, all on a single platform with a single sort of set of data, uh, uh, and that is extremely attractive for them. So we're very excited about that. Um, the way that we offer it, or the way that we talk to, to our clients about it, is really enabling them to choose the level of security, the level of friction that they want to, uh, that they want to incorporate into the process. So you can either, you can start at what we call level one, which is basically showing your card backwards and forwards, and then automatically reading out the data. You can scale that up by comparing the face and the photo to uh, and, and what we call level two. So that's the face recognition and also liveness to check that you're not just putting a photo of someone up there. Um, and then we actually also have a level three, which is something with, that actually none of our competitors in this space have, which is where we can check. We, we have something called the sort of document genuineness check, which is not a very snappy term, but effectively, what we can do, and, uh, and this is thanks to our heritage in the video identification space, is because we have millions of videos of people che um, checking the, um, the security features on cards, in particular the holograms, is that we can also, through the automatic processes, get customers to check the security features on, on the cards, in particular the holograms. So, so yes? So one question is that um, featured by... Um do you have an, um, an interview process where you have an operator interviewing the other person or is it completely automated? For levels one through three, it's completely automated. So you don't need an agent at all involved. And uh, we are talking to a number of regulators at this moment who are very interested in, in, as they see this, as a really good compromise, having level one, two, and three as a really good compromise um, from which it, because it's better than level one and two, which is what most of the um, sort of identity verification providers provide, the, the international ones, and it's it's obviously more frictionless and um, and it's a, and it's more um, easier for the consumer to do, and so, than than obviously level four and five. So having doing the checks, face comparison, checking the document, and then checking the authenticity of the document, whether it's a real document or not, um, is, is a sort of good compromise between a, just a simple auto-identification and, and a video identification. 
So that's, that's very exciting. Then, of course, we have level four where you can check every, you can have a human check, you can go through the process automatically and then have a human checking um, that data before you actually verify it. And then finally, level five, which is our, our, our traditional video identification process, which I hope that many of you have done or uh, uh, been involved with. Um, again, this is another sort of view in terms of how um, companies can consider, depending on the level of security and the level of friction that they're willing to endure during the onboarding process for their clients, um, they can choose the, the, the level of interaction that they take on the platform. And that's really important because obviously there are certain use cases where they, don't, they just don't necessarily want that level of friction or need that level of security. And so we're able to provide them something with a very with a low friction and obviously that has lower, fr lower security, but then they can scale up depending on what's required. And that, another sort of interesting fact of the platform is that quite often clients want a, um, a, an automated process, but they also understand that there's going to be a proportion of their, of their consumer base that is just not going to be able to do it because they're just not used to it, they, you know, they, they, they find it difficult and that we can also scale up in that case where you're not getting through because you, you, know, you just haven't quite got the lighting right or whatever it is, you can scale up to a video chat and you can get an agent on the, on the phone to, um, on the video chat to sort of guide you through the process. And so if you consider that most, you know, in terms of banks, for example, the cost of customer acquisition is you know, 200, 300 euros per person to get them into the funnel. If you can, if you can actually make sure that every single last user comes through and comes to the end, then that's a useful investment. Um, so AutoIdent is, is our latest product. Um, and, um, and it is, as I said to you before, very much about showing your card, comparing your face, and checking the, um, uh, checking the security features. Here we have just some examples uh, of, um, of the automatic document read and all the fields that we can read out. So we can read all the MLZ, the machine readable zones, and in certain cases, some of the non-machine readable zones in terms of address fields and so on. Um, biometrics, uh, we um, use face recognition technology um, to compare the photo of the face and uh, photograph of the document. And then finally, the um, genuineness check, which again is a unique feature to our platform which really does not exist anywhere else. Um, and in, being, in terms of being able to check the security features of the, um, uh, of the card, and that, this, this is the piece which is really exciting, a lot of the regulators, and actually there is a regulator in Europe at the moment that were actually helping to formulate their rules, and they are using this as the standard, so we're quite excited about um, uh, the, the future uh, possibility of that, because of course, once one regulator does it, then it makes it a lot easier for other regulators to follow suit. Um, and then finally, we've got the, the, the video chat uh, element to it. We offer it as a full service um, or a SaaS option. So for smaller clients who don't have their own call centers, if they want um, video ident, we offer that as a full service. And then um, we also offer it as a SaaS service to our bigger clients who may want to um, actually use their own call center agents for the uh, case of video ident. And so finally, um, yes, ID now is part of the Keep Terminal. I wanted to just say, um, first of all, thank you to all the Keep team for organizing this. I think, A, it's an awesome booth. Um, I think also I've been speaking to Max and I know other, my other colleagues uh, at ID Now have spent a lot of time speaking to some members here, but also to Max and Maxim and, and other members of, of the team. And we're really excited about this project. We think uh, it's, it's great what you guys are doing. Anything that makes it easier to install and implement um, uh, ID verification processes at the client side is is has got to be a positive thing, um, and um, you know we're very happy to be part of the marketplace. We feel that we have by far the best solution in the market and uh, at a very reasonable price. Best value price, I think, is uh, is the term. Um, we definitely don't want necessarily be the cheapest, but we definitely have the best product and the best technology and provide um, the best proposition. 
Um, and, um, and so uh, I'm very happy to be part of the marketplace and um, feel that yeah, we've got a proposition that will be favored amongst uh, the, keep, the keep clients. And so here's an example of how that works within the keep environment, which I think some of you probably know this uh, solution better than I do. Uh, and here's an example of how it fits within the, um, within the keep um, software. So um, that is it. I, there is a little video which I, I'd really like to show you because we spent a fair amount of time uh, doing it um, as part of our promotional video. And, and I think it sort of helps sort of sums up um, what we're doing and, um, and how, we're, how we're pitching uh, ID Now and the new platform. Is there any sound? Knowing your customers has become more important than ever. Digital identities are becoming the new currency. Companies need an easy, trusted, and compliant way of finding out who their customers really are. But with diverse international customer bases, growing regulations, and a whole host of other challenges to contend with, doing that is much easier said than done. But what if there was a technology platform equipped with deep artificial intelligence capabilities that could cure all of your digital identity headaches? One that you can use to create fast, simple, and easy to manage ID verification processes that don't just keep customers engaged, they help you convert more customers faster. Introducing ID Now, the next generation identity as a service solution designed for the now economy. It's a quick and easy way to capture and verify customer identities, however and wherever you need to, delivered either as a fully managed service or as a flexible software-as-a-service option. It's completely modular, so you can integrate it your way, weaving identity verification into your customer journeys in the most natural and satisfying way possible. The process is simple. When you need to verify your customer's identity, all they need to do is open the ID Now app on their mobile device. Easy to follow on-screen prompts, then guide them through the whole process seamlessly and within seconds. When it comes to customer onboarding, every second counts. Once the process starts, there's no need for the customer to select which type of ID document they'd like to verify. Just show the document to the camera and the AI-powered platform can automatically detect the type of document. The types of documents used by over 7 billion people globally. Then, ID Now automatically reads all of the customer's relevant personal details from the ID document. By getting the customer to move their ID in front of the camera, holograms and other security features are automatically detected by the platform's powerful AI capabilities. Finally, we perform both a face recognition and liveness check on the customer. By using a familiar selfie-style tool, all the customer needs to do is show their face at a couple of different angles. This ensures the user is both present, not just the photo, and is the same person that is shown on the ID. In most cases, that's it. To meet regulatory requirements in some countries, you might choose to add our video identification service to your process. Powered by IDNow's team of live IDENT specialists or your own staff if you're using our software as a service option. The end result? Fast, convenient, and cost-effective ID capture and verification that meets all the needs of your business and captures and converts every single customer you need it to. ID Now. Visit idnow.io today to find out more and take the first step towards fast, secure, and convenient ID capture that keeps you compliant and drives customer conversions. Great. Thanks for having that video. As great. we do more online. Oh, stop that. We've seen it once. Um, great. Well, thank you very much. I don't know if anyone's got any questions uh, or thoughts. No? Okay, well, thank you very much for listening, and uh, I'll be around if there are any questions uh, in just after this. Thank you.